Today is a Shrove Sunday, a day when we have always asked for each other's forgiveness, to each other, to all people and to God. But today it seems that many people didn't mention this day, didn't have a mandatory word of forgiveness in mind, forgive me. And the mandatory response, God forgives and I do, those words seem to have lost their meaning, at least partial, after all we have done through. We won't forgive shelling of our residential buildings. We will not forgive the missile that our anti-aircraft forces downed today of the Children's Clinic of Madet and over 500 more of these missiles that struck our land, at our people causing hundreds and hundreds of casualties, thousands of thousands of sufferings, and God will never forgive this, neither today nor tomorrow, ever. And there will be a day of judgment instead of a forgiveness, I'm absolutely sure of that. The Russian military still doesn't seem enough of what they have already done. They are not enough of ruined destinies and mutilated lives. They want to kill more. Russia has officially announced the shelling of our territory for tomorrow, of our enterprises, of our defense complex. Most of them were built decades ago back under the USSR. They were built in the cities and now they are in the middle of an ordinary urban environment. Thousands of people work there. Hundreds of thousands of people live nearby. This is a murder and this is a deliberate homicide. And I haven't heard any reaction from a single leader in the world, not a single Western politician, no reaction to these announcements. Think of the occupiers' sense of impunity. They are announcing planned atrocities. Why? Because there is no reaction, because there is silence, not a single world, as if world leaders have disappeared for this evening, on this day. I hope that at least tomorrow you will notice, you will react, something you will say. We do not, we do know exactly who has planned this attack. We know exactly how the chain of command is going to move forward. We know everything, and we won't forgive anything. You will face a tribunal and the judgment of God if you make any attempt to escape. The aggressor's blatant aggression is a clear signal to the West that the sanctions against Russia are not sufficient, because they do not get it, they don't feel it. They didn't see that the world is really determined, really seeks to stop the war. You will not escape this reality, you will not hide from more massacre in Ukraine. A lot of people talked about humanitarian corridors, about the opportunity for people to get out of the cities that Russia has come to, the Russian military. I'm grateful to every Ukrainian who remains even in encirclement to defend our cities and our freedom. But I also know that there are many people who really need to get out, who simply cannot stay. And we have heard the promise that there will be a humanitarian corridor. None of them exist. They can only make bloody corridors instead of humanitarian ones. Today a civilian family was killed in the city of Irpin. A man, a woman and two children, straight on the road, like in a shooting gallery, when they were just trying to get out of the town to escape the whole family. How many families like these have been killed in Ukraine? We will not forgive, we will not forget, we will punish every person who committed atrocities in this war, we will find every bastard who shot at our cities, our people, who bombed our land, who launched missiles, who ordered and pressed the bottom launch. You won't have a single quiet place on this earth except a grave. Today I have decided to award orders to the heads of regional administrations and mayors of cities who have been most distinguished in the defense of their communities. The Order of Bogdan Khmelnytsky of the Third Degree is awarded to head of the Kharkiv Regional State Administration, Sinyagubov Oleg Vasilyevich, the head of Mykolaiv Regional State Administration, Kim Vitaly Oleksandrovich, head of Donetsk Regional State Administration, Pavlo Karelenko, head of Luhansk Regional State Administration, Sergei Gaidai, head of Chernihiv's Regional State 
Administration Charles Vyacheslav Anatolievich, head of Sumy Regional State Administration Dmitro Zhivitsky. The Order of Courage is awarded to Mayor of Kharkiv Terekhov Igor Oleksandrovich, Mayor of Mykolaiv Senkevich Oleksandr Fedorovich, Mayor of Chernihiv Atroshchenko Vladislav Anatolievich, Mayor of Sumy Lysenko Oleksandr Mykolaevich, Mayor of Kherson Igor Viktorovich Kolikhai, Mayor of Melitopol, Fedorov Ivan Sergeyevich, Mayor of Nova Kakhovka, Kovalenko Volodymyr. I decided to award our city heroes with a special honorary title, as it was when we defeated another invasion, but a similar invasion, another one, but no less violent. The city heroes would become Kharkiv, Chernihiv, Mariupol, Kherson, Bila Tserkva, Volnovakha. Glory to Ukraine!